What's that? What's my favorite type of music? Oh well, I'm really a heavy metal kind of guy. <laughs> I don't know what other lead joke can I say? Really led you into that one. Oh, Led Zeppelin! Dang it! Welcome to Demolition Ranch! We have a block of lead. A huge block of lead. This was sent to me by the backyard scientist, Kevin. He sent it. It was like over a year ago, pretty sure. He sent this the exact same time he sent the block of aluminum, which we shot like a year ago. Uh, I just forgot about this one. And really, I think this one's gonna be cooler because lead's really soft, plus it's heavy. I think it's gonna be neat to see what happens when I shoot bullets at a block of lead. Uh, by the way, if you have not seen The Backyard Scientist, go check him out. His channel, especially since the time that I first started talking to him, has exploded. He has done some really cool things over there and he, he might pass up Demolition Ranch this year. It kind of looks that way. His channel is going crazy. Go check him out. I appreciate him sending this to me in the past, a long time ago. Uh, so, as most of you know, bullets are made of lead, which is a heavy metal, and it's soft. This is lead, very heavy, and, I mean soft, I mean it's hard because it's metal, but it's, it's soft compared to other metals. I wanna see what happens when I shoot bullets from a gun, lead bullets from a gun, into a lead block. But first, let me show you one thing. This block is crazy heavy. I mean, you can imagine how heavy like any block of metal would be. Like, I mean, you probably picked up a rock that big and it's heavy. A block of metal is heavier and a block of lead is like ridiculously heavy. I'm gonna just drop it on this thing. I, I would bet it weighs 100 pounds in a little thing like this big. I'm gonna drop it on the cinder block and see what happens. Oh, it's so heavy though. Uh, that solves that. It proves that it is super duper heavy. Um, it actually would be a cool video just to crush things with it. Note to self. In the video that we did with the block of aluminum, we had the bullets would go in, especially the really powerful rifle bullets, would go in and make a little hole and then it would break apart aluminum and shoot it back straight out of that hole back at us. So for the big rifles I'm going to move back, but for everything I'm going to be wearing eye protection. These are shade tree. Everybody always asks when I wear these just because they're bright. Um, you can see they're America. On the inside it says Land of the Free because of the Brave. They're bamboo, polarized. And the best part about it is if you use code Demolition Ranch, no, no, sorry. If you use code Demo Ranch, I'll put a link in the description below, you get $5 off um, your order of these or any of their sunglasses on their website. But I would, uh, I'd highly recommend these. Also, if you buy these in particular, $5 of your order goes to support um, Operation Homefront, which helps wounded uh, veterans and their families. So if you use that, you get awesome shades. It helps support the channel and veterans. I can't go wrong with that. Uh, I have it set way over there. You guys can probably barely see it, uh, but I want that thing as far away from me as possible so that I don't get hit by anything. I hope I can hit it from here with this 22. Not the most accurate pistol. It sounded like I hit it. Let's go check it out. So that's a 22 long rifle shooting a solid lead bullet. No copper jacket or anything on that one. Wow, look at that hole. That is awesome. So deep, way deeper than I thought it would be with just a 22 long rifle. This is gonna get good when we actually use real guns. Nine millimeter out of my Slovenian pistol. This is a full metal jacket. Let's see what it does. Woo, so far. Well, I'm barely hitting him on both of them. Wow, look at that bullet. That is so cool. Awesome, so it just buried itself in there. Very, very neat. 22, right there at the edge. And our nine millimeter, <laughs> is it hot? No, it's just warm. You can see how it's, it peeled the jacket back. Same nine millimeter gun, but I'm shooting a different bullet now. This one is a solid copper bullet, no lead in it, and it's a hollow point. I scooted up a little bit too because it's the only one I have in here. I didn't want to miss. I really want to see what this does. 
crazy. Now what do you make of that? That's pretty nuts. I don't know why it didn't spread out nearly as much as this one. I mean it, the hole is like the exact same size as the 22 hole. Maybe it's going slower? Or faster? I don't know, probably slower. All right, let's turn it up. 45 ACP, this is just a full metal jacket. I think it's like 230 grain. So a lot bigger than those nine mils we were just shooting. Sorry it took so long, just wanted to make sure I made a good shot, and I did, killed it. Dang, look at that. I wish I could get that out. It's like totally flattened the bullet out in there. Oh, I can, maybe, come on. Get out of there. Oh, it's so cool. Man, you can really see how soft lead is. I can bend it around with this steel knife. Come on. I'm gonna break my knife. That is really neat. Okay, 22, nine mil, nine mil, 45 ACP. Well, I didn't bring anything bigger. <laughs> Good one, Matt. We all knew at one point it would come down to this. The 500. Smith and Wesson Magnum. Oh, it looks awesome. It's not. Don't, don't think it's cool. It's not. Look at this thing. Look at that. That is a 500 Magnum. This thing's got like, I don't know, like a hundred times the power of a 45. That number might be exaggerated, but that's what it feels like in the hand. Let's do it. Oh, don't hurt me too bad. I hope I can hit it. I flinch every time I shoot this thing. <sighs> okay. I think I missed it, which means I have to shoot it again. Oh no. I didn't miss it. I just blasted the corner off of it. Jeez. Oh, I really wanted to hit solid though. Do I shoot it again? No. Nope. Sorry, I love you guys, but that's enough. I don't like shooting that gun. Fine, I'll shoot one more. It hurts my hand just looking at it. I'm using Underwood ammo. They pack these things hot. Like, they're the hottest rounds I've found. I don't know why I keep using the hottest rounds I've found. No, I'm not gonna. Oh. Don't flinch, don't flinch. <laughs> Worth it. Okay. Oh, it broke my sawhorse. Okay. I mean, it's pretty obvious to see that 500 Magnum has a little bit more power than everything else. Jeez. That went about inch and a half, maybe two inches deep. You can see the uh, little 22 hole there. Crazy. Just crazy. That was my most powerful pistol. But before we go to rifles, let's try a shotgun with a one ounce slug. This is a mean slug, super powerful. I got my slug barrel on this thing, it's rifled, so it should deliver that slug right where we need it to go. Cool, weird. Now it's hot. So that looks, I mean it's similar to the 500 Magnum, but it's not nearly as impressive. The diameter is about the same on that opening, but the depth is about half of what we got out of that huge 500 Magnum hole. I'm surprised. I thought that the uh, slug would do a little better than that. Time for rifles, and we gotta scoot back with that because eh, you shouldn't shoot metal super close, especially soft metal that might bounce a bullet back or throw a piece of metal at you. So target is here. My truck is back there. We're probably at about 50 yards, I don't know. Shooting 5.56 out of the most beautiful and best AR-15 in the entire world. And I think I know where it's aiming. I just threw this scope on it. Let's see if I can hit it. Crazy. So, 5.56 is moving really fast. And it made a pretty deep hole and a little bit narrower. There's a little piece of jacket stuck in there. 
And you can see it kind of bulged out the side a little bit. A little bit actually cracks. Wow, that's cool. There you have it. That's what a 5.56 does. Let's do something a little bit bigger. It's 3.08 time. Out of this beauty. God, it's a good looking gun. All right, 308 is a lot bigger than a 5.56. So, it should make a bigger hole. Kind of looks about the same. It looks deeper, but about the same diameter. It's way deeper. Cool. Let's get this jacket out of here, maybe. I can't reach it. Get out of there. So there's copper jacket. It is crazy how it cleans out all the lead out of this hole, it's just gone. What you can see, the difference between these guys, these slower moving ones, all the lead is kind of just pushed out, kind of squeezed out. But here you can see a little bit on this one, a lot on this, that the lead is actually broken out. It's going so fast that instead of having that kind of slow push, bending the lead out without ripping it, it just breaks it, tears it off which is why I wanted to scoot back for the rifles because this is what it was doing on the aluminum as well. It was ripping it and firing chunks back at us. This one's a little safer. This one, if you're close, you'll probably get hit by those chunks of lead. So, I hope you guys can appreciate that the depth is probably about, it's uh, probably twice what the 5.56 is. It does go pretty dang deep. So I'm going to turn this thing around, get us a fresh side, and let's not play like uh, we haven't known what was coming next. We're gonna get the 50 BMG out on a fresh side and blast this thing. Oh, this little guy? Is that what you were looking for? Not a problem. Let me show you the difference. There's a 308. There is a 50 BMG. Look at that cute little thing. So, as you can imagine, it's probably gonna make a bigger hole. But I don't want to just assume that. I want to find out. Here we go. Where is it? Uh, I presume we hit it very hard because that was the first one to knock that block over. Oh God. Jeez. There it is, the hole in the lead from the 50 BMG. Probably about four, five inches deep. That's actually the bullet right there. That thing right at the end of my pinky finger that's not focused. That right there is the bullet turned sideways in there. So it went in there. You can see these little stress fractures all around here. It went in there so fast that it actually bulged it out, made enough room for it to turn around in there, which is pretty crazy. Look at that crack going all the way down the side. That is a lot of power. Very crazy. I wish we could see down in there a little better. I really wish there was some way we could cross section this thing so I could see what the wound cavity looks like in there. That'd be neat. Also, I definitely wanna make probably a whole off the ranch episode of just smashing things with that. So if you have some good ideas of what you'd like to see smashed with a 100 pound block of lead, comment below. Also, thanks Backyard Scientist for sending that thing. You the man. Also, if you wanna look as good as me, sweat not included, use the link below and the code demo ranch. You get $5 off of any shade tree sunglasses. And if you choose these, uh, it'll look really good on 4th of July. You'll be the coolest one at the barbecue. I promise. There's no better way to show that you love America. Also, Father's Day's coming up pretty soon. I think your dad would look good in these too. Thanks for watching Dibbles Ranch. Thanks for being here. I love you and I will see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.